Well, hello everybody, Bill Shocker here. Welcome to another edition of The Five Minute Motivator. Welcome to my home in beautiful Tamarindo, Costa Rica. Uh, we are in the dead of winter here right now, so uh, the temperature is actually dipping below 80 degrees and uh, it rains a little bit every day, but within the next month or so, the uh, sky should clear up. There won't be a cloud in the sky for about five months or so. The temperature will be, will be between 90 and 95 degrees with a beautiful uh, wind blowing uh, that, uh, that just makes it, uh, well, makes it paradise. But for the time being, we'll just have to accept this uh, below 80 degree weather and uh, not have the sun shining as much. Somehow we'll get over it. Anyway, uh, again, welcome to the 5-Minute Motivator. Remember, these are unedited, unscripted, little 5-minute blurbs. Uh, they are designed to just give you some quick information. Uh, as I have been over the past 10 episodes or so, I am uh, celebrating a new course that I've released on increasing self-confidence through public speaking. And uh, this is a continuation of that process. So look at these little five-minute motivators as kind of adjuncts to the course itself. Please check the link below. What you're going to find is a 30-lesson course. Each lesson is between six and seven minutes designed to give you high impact. If you do this on a daily basis, within in the span of a month, you are going to have gigantic amounts of ideas that could in fact change the trajectory of your career or your life in general, not only based on public speaking, but based on the self-confidence that you can create from public speaking and from other areas of your life. That's how this course is designed. So I highly suggest you take a look at it. For the price of a few cups of coffee, you can literally be in a course for 30 days. Uh, or you can binge it if you want to. It's three and a half hours worth of material. Feel free to listen to the whole damn thing in one afternoon if you'd like to. Okay, so what I'd like to talk about over the next few minutes is this. I want to do a deeper dive into self-talk. I've spoken about self-talk before. You know that uh, psychologists say we talk to ourselves 52 seconds out of every 60 seconds, and we have to wonder what we're actually saying to ourselves. A very interesting note. Uh, I saw Zig Ziglar do this years ago. Zig Ziglar, the master sales trainer. He said that closing a sale is not between you and the prospect. He said closing a sale is between you and your mother. Now you think about that. Here's what he meant. When you're ready to close a sale, you have to make the individual, the prospect, feel a bit uneasy over the fact that they are solving their problem without your solution. You want them to feel uneasy. You want them to feel the pain so that they'll begin to use your solution. What's mom saying in the back of your head, according to Zig Ziglar? You be nice to people. Don't you dare make people feel uncomfortable. You do what you can to make sure that everybody is happy. Mom and the sales process don't get along. That's self-talk, ladies and gentlemen, and that's something that we have to really, really be concerned with. One of the best ways to do that is through a meditative process called awareness. You need to be aware of what your thoughts are. And while awareness could be a 24-7 kind of a, of a process, it's normally not. Normally, we can slip in and out of awareness a few times a minute. Uh, there are certain little mental thing, uh, little tricks you can play on yourself, like every time you get up from your chair, to stop for a second and be aware. Be aware of what you're thinking. Be aware of the thought processes that you have. That's certainly something that you can do, and it's certainly something you should think about. Um, something else that you can do to watch that self-talk, because this is so important in public speaking, is make sure you have a positive attitude, not just during your talk, but in all areas of your life. You know, there's six broad areas of our life. There's uh, physical, mental, social, spiritual, family, and career. We should be looking at having positive self-talk and positive affirmations in each of those areas of your life. And the last thing I would tell you in terms of self-talk, just to keep this at the five-minute mark, is this. Affirm. 
have affirmations. I have a stack of written affirmations on index cards. I have this many of them. And if I'm stuck in traffic, I'll pull the cards out and I'll go through them. Uh, some of the affirmations are very, very simple. Uh, some of them ha are, in ge are general. Some of them have to do with public speaking. Uh, i give you an example of a public speaking affirmation, kind of humorous. Uh, I'll, say, I'll say something to the effect of, my next talk is like a snow cone. I got this licked. And little things like that. They're fun. They're inspirational. They'll get you thinking. Anyway, we're at the five-minute mark. This has been another edition of the 5-Minute Motivator. Check the link below for my course on public speaking. Until next time, this is Bill Shaka thanking you for your time. Looking forward to seeing you again on the other side. Bye-bye.